Hello and welcome to Bloxmaster. My name is Elder and this is a quick tutorial showing you how to use tapped content brick. Sorry, it's the end of the day and I am traveling right now, so I don't have my setup, but hopefully the quality of the audio and everything will be good. So this is the website in question. Right now it uses the tab anything pro, I believe, the custom brick, but we want to rebuild this using the default tapped content brick and blocks. The other thing is this one, this page. This one is even simpler, it's just the horizontal tabs, like they look by default. So let's go to this one first, and we will open blocks. In this case it is block 6, but it is the same for blocks 5 as well, because these are basically pretty much the same bricks, tapped content bricks. So let's add the tapped content brick. And again, by default, it is horizontal tabs. You will see that inside the column, we have two elements, the list and div container. List uh, contains links for these areas, which are contained inside this div container. So if you select list, in the sidebar, you can set the number of items or number of, of tabs. So let's say eight. And when you do that, you can see that it will create the eight links and eight content areas. So let's move these links to the side to make them vertical. So this is what we want to create. So this user uses the images here or carousels. So we will do the same. So let's make actually add some image. I will add some random image. Well, just placeholder will be fine. And it has some very, very interesting, not usual animations. I don't know if I'm comfortable with something like this, but we can add something similar using the regular animations we have in blocks. So appear on screen, and there are a bunch of different ones. I think the fade in, for example, like this will be the more like easier one. So I think zoom in from the side, or bones in. I think light speed in might be something similar to what this user uses on the website. So for now it doesn't matter. So we will use light speed in. And I will just take this image and put it in few content areas. So we have images here. So basically I'm selecting the text, deleting it, and then copy pasting the same image. So we have these images. So now I will move these links to the side. To do that, I will use flex. So I will select the parent element. In this case, it is column. So this column has two elements inside. And by adding flex to this column, we can adjust how the elements inside are kind of acting, moving. So let's add the column tabs. OK. And we will, well, you can name it whatever you want. I just randomly typed column tabs, by the way. So we'll go to positioning tab and set the display to flex. And as you can see, by default already, it will switch to this kind of side by side because by default, flex uses the direction from left to right, horizontal, this one. We can change it, for example, from top to bottom, which was before from bottom to top, right to left, and so on. So right now I think we need from left to right, right like this. We can also change some how the links are positioned here. As you can see, we can align them to the top like this. We can align them to the middle. You can see they will be in the middle. I think this user has it aligned to the top. So links are aligned to the top. So let's do the same. We will align them to the top. And we can also well, for now, links are just just there. Let's leave them like this and let's click done. Now I want to add a class to this element and this element to set the width I want to have here. So here is pretty small. So I will just add the sidebar tabs class to this list. And I will set the width to 20% of the of the canvas in this case. And I will take the second div and I will add another class. This will be content tabs. 
and here I will set the width to 80%. Right now everything is very simple as you can see until now. So we have 20 for the sidebar and we have 80 for the content. Okay, so what else we want to do? Maybe we want to make these links 100% so they're not kind of stacked against each other. We can select this class and well I want so I can I can do many things here. I mean there there is no just one way to do this, but we can also adjust some of the settings inside this site tabs class we created and align these elements as well. Or we can target the links specifically. The links or they look like buttons, but these are basically links inside the list item as you can see. And we can set for example the width for this uh, link to be 100% and it will occupy this area. So let me actually try a few other things. For example, we can select this list item, enable flex again for this element as well, and then use the from top to bottom the same technique we used for the column. We will use it here to have them kind of positioned from top to bottom, so without kind of going next to each other of course we can enable like some other elements here some other features which will also change how this looks but for now i think this is what i want maybe i will align it to the center or maybe not i will just leave it like this okay for now this will work let's go to preview in browser and see how this looks so I think we get going, get, we are getting somewhere close to what it is already. As you can see, there is some like hover effects. We can easily do that with the new block six. It's even better. It's even easier. So before customizing it a little bit, let me add another tab because I want to quickly create this one as well. It is even simpler because we don't need to change the alignment position of the tabs I will just add the tabbed content brick and uh, this one will have 12 because we have 12 months so January we can select this list and we can add a class to this list for example let's say this is the nav well there is a class we can use of course but let's say it's just tabs tabs I will name this tabs again we can use this uh, if we go to display flex we can use this to align this exactly like we want we can maybe add some padding below we can you can see there is a border there we can get rid of the border maybe we don't want that so there is no border anymore and we can do that for all tab content bricks on our website or just to this one I will show you how we can do that to all content bricks in a second. Let me quickly add some con columns here to this. And I will place it to other months and not all of them, just a few so we can change them and see that it is changing. So let's go back. So this one works perfectly. And then here we have different months. As you can see, these two don't have any animations, but this one has. We can also fix that as well. I will show you how we can do that. So, as you can see, I, I targeted this particular list and I deleted the border, but it is still under this one. How we can change all content, like all tapped content bricks on our website. We can do that by editing a few classes. So let's add, first one is nav tabs exactly like that nav tabs and this one will allow us to change the default style for this the whole list so for example if we would delete the class we had before which, which i added before nav tabs or just tabs we can select we can select this nav tabs class and we can do the same changes to it using this class so for example if we set the border to zero as you can see it's gone now but it is also gone from the first one as well. There was a border there because this class targets all of the content on our website. Another thing I want to add is maybe alignment like this. 
as you can see this looks better again we can combine using this class this some um, additional settings for each of the content content bricks we have on the website so let's add this one padding here okay that's for now that's good now i want to change the design of these tabs so i will add another one another class nav tabs nav link exactly like that i will leave spaces intact so nav tabs dot nav links nav link and inside this one i can change the default style for this tabs or for these links i should say so what i will do i will add border i will make it one pixel white and i will make it blue like this so we can see it better then i will add radius and i think by default i will add margin three pixels on all sides and you will see that it actually targets all of the elements here as well as you can see let's actually change the size of the text as well to the blue one like this as you can see it's very easy and it works across the whole website so some things you can change generally for the whole project some things you can target especially each of these tab content bricks there is another class which is for the active tab because right now if we go here you will see that active or, or no active they are the same they look the same we can add another class which is nav tabs nav link dot active if we add this class we can style it differently so for example i want to add the blue background to the active tab and as you can see the first one is active here so it is blue now and for the active one i wanted to have white text instead of the blue one so now as you can see the active tab is now dark blue and you can easily switch like this and it will also change so we don't have any hover effect here again same story you remember this one nav tab nav link is the one which uses the default style for all of the tabs so we can go to let's say hover state for this class and change it to blue and change the text to white so hover state for the nav tab nav link class so now all of them have this hover effect you can easily switch between them and you can place any content here you can place the whole pages the whole i don't know any element videos images carousels whatever you can style these tabs like this and you want the tabs to like increase on hover or change color well change cover i already showed you let's try to increase them on hover let's go to nav tab nav links class and we will add the transform so on hover it will be slightly bigger and let's add some transition as well so it is smoother you can see on hover it becomes slightly bigger Yeah, I prefer when it does not have any animation at all. So setting it transition to zero will probably be the best for me. The final thing I want to show you here before finishing this video is, of course, mobile optimization. Because sometimes we want to make sure that it is working online perfectly online on all devices. So this one, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to like change this three column layout here. I'm talking about the tabs because the horizontal one well by default it is okay as you can see it aligned itself of course we can improve it a little bit but i think it's okay but for this one because we manually changed the sidebar we moved it to the sidebar instead of the top we need to adjust it a little bit so if we go to the top one here and we'll select our column open this class as you remember we used flex to align it side by side and on this breakpoint it still works good for this one i think that 20 percent is a little bit too small for the tabs now so we will increase it to 25 and again for the width for the content we will set it to 75 so 100 in total but for mobile one instead of 
having them side by side I actually want tabs to be at the top let's actually see how they do that here using tab content brick what is a drop down menu or here it is just a list of the elements okay so let's make them top to bottom like this and what I will do I will actually select this and change the width to 100 so it is 100 and then I will go to flex and make sure that it is aligned like this maybe like that so now if we go to preview and when we switch to a mobile as you can see the tabs are on top instead of the sidebar and of course we can change like padding edit or margin edit only on mobile and like get rid of it on on the desktop it doesn't really matter but yeah something like this as you can see it works perfectly fine and well same goes for the second one it is highly customizable you can create any design you want i think i covered everything i'm not exactly sure and i know i know it is not polished video you expect from my courses but again i'm exhausted i'm traveling but i wanted to make this video today because there is a need for this and i want to help guys on the blogs forum and as you can see it's it's very easy so again three classes you need to remember it is nav tabs nav tabs nav link and nav tabs nav link dot active and again these are only if you want to change the global styling for these tabs but you can also change add the class to each of these and style them differently so it's up to you so hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below or on blogs forum and i will do my best to answer all of them have a great day guys goodbye